Hello everyone, so I am going to show you how we can create uh, a custom loop for any post or custom post type that you might want. And we can design it like precisely the way we want directly on the page where we are creating it. So no longer uh, needing to mess about with templates or anything like this to create our custom loop and have it display the way we want it. In this case here, it's displaying a, a custom post type named employees, and it's automatically querying all my employees to fill in all the data and the image. All of this happens automatically. It's a really great feature of uh, Zion Builder, definitely one of my favorite. All right, so let's get started right away. So the first thing you will want, of course, is to get right in the editor uh, and then go to the place where you want to add your custom loop. So let me open this. Uh, so let's just duplicate this uh, section. All right. And then let's delete the content that we don't want. So. Let's just delete those four columns. Okay, and let's call this uh, employees. I got this um, layout from a template that comes with Zion. So I'm not, it's not clear to me why they are using uh, a custom HTML for this, but let's just go with it. All right. And then we'll want to create our uh, custom loop. So on this website, I created a employees custom post types uh, using uh, pods. And in it, I have like six employees. Each one of them have like the title of the post, uh, a bit of text, and then a featured image. They also have a job title but I will get back to this uh, a little bit later. This is a custom field from uh, pods and uh, yeah, more about this later. So we'll create our custom uh, loop with uh, these employees. So let's create it as a uh, slider so that at, at the same time, I can show you a little bit the slider builder. So let's insert after the column. Let's search for slider. Let's insert the slider builder. And then in the slide, we'll add uh, an image. First of all, well, let's, let's just go with the image box. I think it will be good enough. So, Let's, uh, all right. And then image on top is what we want. And then we'll center everything. All right, so that's great. Now let's go back up to the slider builder. So we have a lot of options in the slider builder. What we want, we, do we want to show the arrows, the dots? Uh, do we want it infinite to autoplay? How many slides do we want to show to scroll the speed? And yeah, a lot of options. And, and then we can style everything, uh, every slide exactly the way we want. So it, it's, it's pretty, it's great. At the same time, it's a little bit uh, overwhelming at first, but when you get used to it, it gives you so much control over exactly how you want to, to build out your, your slides. In our case too, what we want is really just to show the, uh, the custom loop option, like the custom loop on the fly, directly creating it directly in, in the page. So the way this works is that you need to go under advanced on a parent element. It doesn't need to be in the slider builder. It could be on the section element, uh, but the slider builder is good in case we would want maybe some other loop uh, somewhere further in the same section. So the, the, on, uh, the slider builder, uh, element will be, it's a good place to, to set it as the repeater provider. 
So the, the parent element would be the repeater provider. And then the child element are the repeater consumer. So right now, let's just set the repeater provider in our slider builder. Uh, let's use the query type query builder. The post types will want employees. And then the taxonomy, this is fine as it is. Post per page, then this is fine. Outdoor by, so everything else is fine. Of course, you don't want to enable the repeater consumer. Uh, both, like one element cannot be both. The parent element is the repeater, and then uh, further downstream, uh, the child elements are the consumer. So now let's go downstream actually. So let's go in a, a single slide, which is a builder slide option. So this is essentially like each slide uh, containers is this element. So we want to enable this as the repeater consumer. And then everything in this element directly and also that is contained in this element, we can now use this uh, dynamic data and it will work like exactly the way we want. So let's use the feature image for the post. And then let's set the post title for uh, this and then the description, finally, the post content. Now, of course, it doesn't look great. We'll be fixing this uh, shortly. So let's go back up to, all right, well, it kind of updated. Maybe it was just uh, loading. Uh, let's go back up to the slider builder, actually. So slides to show, let's go with three. And now you start to see the power of the like on, on the fly uh, slider builder. Uh, already it, it queried all my employees and it, it got the data that I asked. So the title, the text and the image for all of them. And if we just have a look right now at the uh, front end, so let's uh, preview the post. And as you see, it's already working great. And uh, now it's not same eight. There is some layout shift. So let's fix uh, this. And also let's, let's make them be linked to their uh, single post. So let's go back in the builder. Let's uh, open this. So the image, let's see. Image position, post title, HTML3 tag. Uh, maybe the slide, this one doesn't have any option. So it looks like we, maybe we are out of option to, to add a, a link as of now in the image box element. I don't see any simple way to add the link. So maybe we need to, to split these into like an image, a heading and a text element so that we can have uh, a link. But in the interest of keeping uh, this tutorial short, we'll just keep this uh, link for now. And instead, let's just fix the uh, eight of this slider so that we've got something a bit better. So let's go in the image uh, style. In the size and spacing, let's make uh, each image 210 pixels by 210 and then uh, under the display, under object fit, let's set fit to cover. All right. And then we might also want a 50% uh, border uh, radius. It would look a bit better. So let's link this together. Let's select a percentage. And then, all right. So yeah, that's already much better. Let's update. And let's uh, go back on the page, let's refresh, and let's preview. Maybe a bit of padding would be good uh, still. 
but uh, as as you see, like it's yeah, it's uh, it's really an amazing feature. This uh, this custom loop. So and and now we have all this dynamic data that's created directly on our page. We didn't need to use like templates and uh, with, with that have that often have like in a create previews or anything like this. Uh, we quickly like very quickly we add this on the fly custom loop slider so pretty amazing uh so something to note is that for now acf is supported but it's still not perfectly supported so there are a few more advanced uh, acf fields that are not yet supported so if you create a custom post type like i have it and you add custom uh, fields, then some might work, some might not work yet. This one in particular I created with pods. So these custom fields, they don't work at all un unless we use the short code. The short code, it works for the uh, text fields, but it doesn't work for image fields. So that's really something to keep in mind. However, uh, the, the devs are quickly working to improve this. Uh, so yeah, I expect uh, very uh, quick improvements regarding this, but it's just as of right now, you want to, you will want to uh, have a look at if the fields that are required for your project are, are uh, supported by the editor. So like when you are uh, here and you, you want to qu query something. So let's say like another image. Well, if your field doesn't show up here, you might be uh, out of luck, at least for now. But yeah, as I said, it's improving very quickly. So uh, I expect this to be fixed uh, and, and like to, to have complete support uh, very, very soon. So thank you for watching and uh, check out my other uh, tutorials. Well, let me also show you quickly a few other loops. So on my home page, I have other loops. So in the accordion element, interestingly enough, this works. So as you see, and here I'm using the short code with front pods. So that's pretty good. Uh, this is another slider that where I have links because I created it using the image and then a heading element. So I could add the link to the post directly. And this is another slider where I have a link and also an overlay. So, and all of these are made in the same fashion that I just showed you all with the uh, repeater field with the repeater consumer set for the like the single items and then the repeat the repeater uh, provider set uh, somewhere up the chain for a parent element they all have the same query of my uh, to get my employees so that's all uh, i have uh, for you for now and uh, please subscribe for similar content and thank you for watching